In the 90s after college, I stood at the windows of the old Windows of the World and the World Trade Center. I'd been there interviewing to, for jobs to work as a stockbroker. I was absolutely blown away. I'd never seen anything like it. I ended up not working as a stockbroker, but rather I sold Nextel radios to mobsters and plumbers. I ended up liking their stories more than I liked being a salesman. And I found the American dream personified was was very moving. At some point, I absolutely blew up my life and it was time to go. Uh, so I left my high paying job in New York for an adventure to the Pacific Northwest, sort of. The truth was I was miserably addicted. I'd read in a fitness magazine, the irony, that the most dangerous job in the world was Alaskan king crab fishing in the Bering Sea during the winter. So, in my set sail to rid my demons, uh, I sold everything. I bought a one-way ticket. It was the most treacherous fishing season in decades, boats flipping, people drowning. So I hit pause. That pause included six drug rehabs, homeless shelters, soup kitchens, and more. I still remember the smell of rigor mortis, and I remember that the Salvation Army fed at 3.30 p.m. on Tuesdays. That was my favorite. They did so much with so little.